And the thing about Israel is that it's it, and one of the reasons for its prominence in public discourse is that if you're a journalist, and indeed a television journalist with a camera crew, you can just get on a plane and go to Israel and walk into that country and go around pretty much any way you like within military limits, film what you like, say what you like. There is a very light military censorship. There's nothing remotely like the resistance to providing information you would find, for instance, in Ukraine. And you can operate incredibly freely. It's much more rewarding for Western media organizations to go to Israel than to practically any, any other country in the world. So this will concentrate world public opinion on Israel uh, and possibly take it away from Ukraine, which is bad news, it seems to me, for the Ukrainian government because they need very much, if they're going to keep this war going, they need very much to have strong and active support in Western countries.